Hello, my name is Dr. Jones from drbean.com. Today I'm going to be talking about the ventricles, cerebrospinal fluid and the meninges. So let's jump straight into it. So if we're looking at the side of the head here, okay, and we move slightly up, we find this area of bone. Do you know the name of that? Okay, so that is going to be called the pterion. So the pterion is one of the thinnest and weakest parts of the skull. And it's essentially where your frontal, your parietal, your temporal, and your sphenoid bone are all going to join together. If you were to throw a tennis ball really hard at this, what could potentially happen? Okay, well underneath this pterion is where your middle meningeal artery runs. So the middle meningeal artery, if that ruptures, what kind of bleed are you going to get? Okay, so you're going to get an extra dural, otherwise called an epidural hematoma. So where is that going to be, essentially? Okay, so your extra dural hematoma is going to occur between the skull and the dura. So if we remove this parietal bone, okay, you can see very faintly, if I click here, you can see the dura mater. So the dura mater is the first meningeal layer we're going to encounter if we look at the skull. If we, if we remove the skull, sorry, and look at the brain. So the dura mater is going to be split into two layers. You've got your outer periosteal and your inner meningeal. So the extra dural hematoma is going to be between the outer periosteal and the skull. Okay. So the next one we want to talk about is something called a subdural hem hematoma. So where is the blood collecting there? Okay, so the blood is going to be collecting between the meningeal layer of the dura and the arachnoid matter. Okay, so let's remove the dura. Okay, so you can't see it on here, but the arachnoid matter would be covering this kind of area here. Okay, so it, essentially what you've got is you've got dura is the first layer, then you've got arachnoid. So between the dura and the arachnoid is where you find your subdural hematoma. These bleeds tend to be a little bit slower, a little bit longer, it tend to be a little old lady has fallen over and this bleed is slowly kind of progressed. The third um, hematoma or hemorrhage we want to talk about is the subarachnoid hemorrhage. So does anyone know where that occurs? Okay, so that's going to occur between the arachnoid and the pia mater. Precisely, this is your subarachnoid space. So in terms of the meningeal, just remember you've got your skull and then in terms of the meningeal layers, so you've got your dura mater, then your arachnoid mater, then your pia mater. So dura mater, arachnoid mater, and then pia mater. Perfect. So what lines the cranial cavity? Perfect. So that's going to be your periosteal um, dura mater. So the periosteal dura mater is closely adhered to the skull all the way around and is going to line the, dura cav uh, the cranial cavity. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Make sure that you like this video if you like it. If you don't like it, then do unlike. Like this video, subscribe to the channel and please share this channel with others as well.